I'm Ty Davis. Today we're going to talk GitLab Value Stream Management and the security insights that you have available. With security insights, similarly to how, you know, a common theme here is that you're going to see that we have dashboards that um, are available at a project level and at a group level. So it's giving us specific information around projects or it's giving us specific information around a, a group, which can be a, a, a team or a vertical uh, that's part of that. And what we have here in the uh, security compliance dashboard is it gives us the ability to see a group view of all the security vulnerabilities that make up all the projects within that group. So you can see how many vulnerabilities are have been introduced over time. Uh, there's a report card uh, of, of security statuses within a project. And you can also sort by severity as well as report type. And with these, you can click into them see specific variables if I need to go in and uh, get more information around that I can do that I can dismiss the vulnerability I can create an issue uh, if I'm maybe I'm security uh, manager and I want to uh, you know if there's something that's a little more secure sorry more secure more uh, severe than a medium there's a critical I can click in that oh no critical we're doing all right all right medium it is uh, so I can dive deeper into uh, those vulnerabilities and address those with my team here you know in a security status it's going to break that down by uh, the projects and so i can see uh, which teams have a critical um you know here this team is a concern <laughs> compared to everyone else um, they have 288. if we go at a more granular level within a project uh, what we can also uh, see is there's a couple different things around um, security compliance uh, the project security dashboard is a good place to get an overview of uh, the vulnerabilities that are in that project. And it's similar to what you saw at the group view, but I can be more specific uh, in, in that group. A dependency list allows you to see your project's dependencies, key details about them, including known vulnerabilities. Uh, this information, it's sometimes referred to as software bill of materials, um, but it's going to be uh, giving us detailed information around dependencies. License, uh, license compliance, it's going to give you an overview of just the, the license and if they fall within compliance uh, of that project. Last one I'll briefly mention, and I don't, I don't have data because this is uh, so new and fresh on their most recent release. And this is uh, kind of a, it's a threat monitoring. So you can see data uh, on both total and block traffic, which allows you to more easily determine how you can configure a tune or, or evaluate that web application uh, firewall. Be sure to check out our next videos and continue our conversation.